Hey, I'm the Calphone Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 Career Mode, episode number 52. We kick off, uh, well, continuation of the Giro d'Italia. We're on stage 13 now. But also, another sponsor objective is getting ready to get started. It's only a three stage race. Top five is the objective, but it's also only one stars. I'm not worried about getting a one-star objective, fail or otherwise, as I think we are quite secure at this point, so I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm not going to let that affect me as we go forward. So we continue to make our focus the Giro and the points classification for Philipson. Beyond that, I think it's a lost cause. Uh, KOM... Narvaez, only 7th, too far down, can't do the climbs well enough. We're going to let him go, and we're going to focus just on the points of classification from now on with Philipson. And maybe a stage here and there if we can get it punchy-wise if it's an easy one, but even that doesn't seem likely. He's a little bit too far off at just a 72 average. Philipson is the one who can certainly compete. Now, while I'd like to get Philipson some extra points here, there are 16 available. I don't see that happening. I don't want to waste energy, but we'll grab a few points if we can. Most likely, though, there's going to be a breakaway too far out beyond the first five riders. And so we'll have to focus just on the end of the stage. And unless there's something going on in the middle, we'll skip straight to the end. 37k to go. We just had a crash that knocked out the current race leader, actually, but it's all coming back together. Plenty of time to bring it back together. One little climb on the stage, otherwise it's completely flat. Ooh, Lopez was in that crash and is out of this race. Miguel Angel Lopez will not continue. Okay, that's news. Uh, race situation, pretty straightforward. Five riders in the break for the sprint points five sets of points available they had three and a half minutes they had two and a half minutes the two times we went through the sprint points so no points available looking in comparison the and here we go through the climb that's the finish line is that the finish line right there Actually, it is. That is the finish line. It's right before this climb. So we're on the climb now. The finish line is that slight uphill. Got to keep that in mind as we head into it here in a little bit. Breakaway still has a little over a minute. Anyway, in the points classification, none of the sprinters besides Philipson are anywhere near. In that points classification, everyone around me in the top eight are all climbers. Lopez, one of those top ones, he's now out of that contest. So uh, that's going to shake things up a little bit in that. But Bernal, of course, is the real threat. He does have the lead right now. He's got two points on me. Today, I should easily reclaim that jersey, whether I win or lose the stage. More points, though, for the win. So we definitely aim for that as our target with now 17k to go in the stage everybody's a little bit tired after going over that hill but ooms godry philipson looking pretty good still 15k to go still almost a minute to those five riders we need to catch them and i better get started on that right now let's bring it on down and let's form our train and start chasing now there's a small chance that with the yellow bar being where it is, we may not have the energy to go a full 15k of chasing. I'd rather not go right now. But we're going to have to start bringing those guys back, at least gradually at first, and then more so as we get a little closer. Brian should be the closest, yeah, most, uh, the strongest guy in support. And Oom's next. Audrey, okay, 
from there who we're looking at probably Daniel's gonna have the best flat speed Narvaez also let's go Narvaez and then Daniel Kanigi has the race day condition and uh, Felchi burn him up earlier we need to start chasing pretty hard though, so we're going to go 88 immediately for Felchi. And let's actually make that 90, it looks like we need, there you go, 50 seconds, so it is coming back. Let's get uh, Dinigi ready, and let's get out front here. This is a skinny stretch of road, it's going to be hard to make up ground. So Felchi, there we go. Has uh, Jell is kicking in. Dionigis is kicking in. Let's pull these guys back. It's still 40 seconds. Dionigis not even going to get a chance to go here. Let's make sure he doesn't run out. So Felchi, give us one little push. Dionigi, there you go. Oh, it ends right there. Too early on that. Felchi fading. And you can see just how tight this road is. There's not much space behind us. Philipson in a prime spot right now. Still 29 seconds, though. 29 seconds is the gap. We're going to have to start going full 99, full gas. And with 6K, it's time for everybody to start using their gel. Remember, slight uphill at the finish, but... Okay, Dianigi fading. Philipson still in a prime position. Daniel, 4K to go now. Uh, we're we're going to start going into a sprint here a little bit. 3K, so Narvaez, sprint. Come on, I know you don't have much of a sprint, but give me something. There's that little fatigue kicking in. He has the acceleration. Here's Godry now. Okay, uh, we're going to go Brian, 1.4. No, Ooms. Yes, we'll get Ooms for a little bit here. Okay, Brian. Viviani is here. He's actually ahead of Philipson at the moment, but he is riding solo and pushing early. Oh, come on, Brian. What kind of sprint was that, buddy? Boy, he lost f three bike lengths. And he's still got to go a little further. Now, Philipson. I mean, Godry's still in front of him. Brian never even got ahead of Godry. Philipson now sixth best chance, and he's still got to come off the wheel. Machete still might have an initial chance to get by. A lot of these guys went early, and there is some uphill to this, so hopefully Philipson can recover some of these positions, but he does not look like he is anywhere near a chance of winning this stage currently. See if he can get in front of Machete. He does. He's going to recover some of these positions. Can he recover them all? He does. Oh, what a ride. See how they all sat up a little bit? Those guys were all out of red bar but still had yellow left. We sent Phillips in at the right time, and he takes the stage. That's taking the bull by the horns right there. That was a fantastic ride by Phillips in to overcome that distance and not just win it, but win it comfortably. Cobrelli takes second, Garcia Cortina third, Viviani slips to fourth, he went way too early, Ackerman fifth, Brian up there in sixth, Machete, DeWolf, Godry ninth, and Ooms tenth, that's four riders in the top ten on the stage, even Narvaez right there in twelfth, Bernal, my top competitor in the points classification, takes fourteenth, that's going to put us well ahead of him, Cobrelli, Garcia Cortina, Viviani, they're going to move back up the standings a little bit. But I really think it's going to come down to the Climbers and Philipson for the points classification. As the sprinters, the other sprinters, are way too far behind. And they have just not competed enough for the intermediate sprints, especially, to actually have any sort of chance on the, on the classification. Philipson will definitely have that jersey back now. But can we keep it? Can we keep it? Big, big question on that one. 
So in the general, it's Carapaz, it's Bernal in second, and then two minutes to full song, Formula, Landa, Bardet, Yates, Malama, Katana, and Simon. Yates in tenth. That now excludes Lopez. But I'm going to say just 25 points for Philipson. Bernal takes just two points on the stage. So we gained 23 points on him from a two-point deficit. That's going to give us a 21-point lead. Or 20. Okay, apparently I can't count. 20-point lead in the classification. And then you've got 42 to full song. But again, lots of climbing to happen. So there's lots of points out there available at finishing points on mountain stages that we are just not going to get. So we need to get into those breakaways to maintain some of this gap. But we are starting to pull away a little bit. That's 13 stages in the books. Just looking at basic profile, 14, 15, 16 with time trial. 17, 18, 19, 20. We don't have another sprint until the final stage, 21. Can we get 25 there? Sure, will we? Not necessarily. We need to get some intermediate sprints out here. So for the next handful of stages, we're not going to get stage finishes. We're going to get intermediate sprint points pop it up again and again I won't send them on every stage but we'll send them out on enough to try to maintain a lead but it's gonna be hard to do 16 points easy to get if you have a couple sprint points out in the right places before the climbs that's not gonna to happen too often so looking at let's let's just go ahead and look we'll see when we cut in that's the stage we just did. Okay, we can get over this climb and get that sprint point. We could probably get over that one to get this sprint point. So I will be in the break this time with Philipson and help. This one as well, we can definitely get over that first climb and claim those. So there's 32 points. Bernal probably will win this stage. He'll get 15. If we get 16, we maintain one point there. This one, not necessarily. There's 25 points at the end. He'll be up there in the standings, though. So he'll definitely gain some, gain some points on us. But if he only finishes fourth or fifth, and if we get both of those, then we again maintain the gap. That's going to be an easy one to get some points on, hopefully. <laughs> not sure about the second set, but definitely the first set. Get those points as well. Okay, okay. This one, not a chance. We're, we're going to just bypass stage 19. And stage 20, we can get the points. Stage 21, we can get, definitely get up to 25 at the end. So I think there's a good chance that we can win this points classification. It's just going to take some work in the break. I'll see you at the next break point. 134 kilometers to go, so it's a long stage, but I've, grew up, I've managed to get Philipson, Daniel, and Narvaez into the break. Now, Philipson obviously going for the sprint points. Narvaez, I think he's too far out of the KOM competition, but I might as well, since we're here, try to grab some points. He, he's not going to win it, but can we move him up the standings from, fifth, uh, from sixth? Definitely. Definitely. So, uh, we have 1.6k to go, and we are approaching the top of the climb. So I'm going to start bringing Narvaez forward, and we're going to go out and see if we can pick up some KLM points. 25 riders in the break. It's a big group today, and they have a 5-minute lead. Actually could end up seeing the stage winner coming from the group. So 700 meters, 600 meters, uh, going a little too strong here. Sit up a little bit. George Bennett also giving us a bit of grief here. Uh, Philipson at the moment has been dropped. 200 meters. Come on, come on. He's not going to get first over the top, but can he get... Oh, he's going to take fourth. 
That's how weak he is compared to these other guys. Yeah, up into sixth, though, with 20 points now. Plenty of points, short, steep climbs. That's more his style. But that's 21, and we've lost our other two guys. Uh, I need you to go pull back Philipson. Slow down. Slow down. You're going to pull back Philipson, and we need to start riding. We're over the top here. We just have 11K. We need to get back up there. Rivera is not even riding, so... Philipson, hello? Are you going to do something for me? No? You're, you're just going to ride the descent. Cruise. I need you to sprint. Go catch Daniel. He's barely even riding. Catch Daniel. And then Daniel's going to ride hard. Okay. There we go. Now, Daniel. Pull it back. It's almost two minutes behind. We lost it over the climb. And then that, that's, I guess, that's what I deserve. That's what I get for, uh... <laughs> ah! Nope. Nope. Daniel just left. <laughs> Phillips of behind. Uh, uh, I had him set to it in 88. Apparently that wasn't enough to uh, hang on. Slow down again. Sorry, Daniel. Sorry. So confused. There you go. Okay, Phillips it. Just get behind him, will you? Daniel, come on, you've almost got us back. Three and a half K to go. Just over a minute. Two K to go to the sprint point. Phillipson, this is all you're here for, so time to go. Time to go. One and a half K. Nobody else is gonna be interested in it. Can you get through here? One K to go. Sprint, Phillipson. Yes! Yes! Nice recovery, sir! Like it. I like it. We got back up in there. Got the points. That's eight. Twenty-eight point lead now. Alright. Back into the group. Back into the group. Alright, let's go and grab some water. It's a while before we have anything else going on and Sit up, son. Sit up. Right easy. There you go. You will recover. We'll just cruise at a 60 for now. He'll recover. There you go. It's coming back. Arvaeus bringing the water up. And we've got a little while till the next one. And we'll have a lot more time in between uh, to help Phillips in. But next time we hit the climb, I'm going to switch things to... Daniel protecting Philipson and trying to help him get over the climb. Uh, so that hopefully that doesn't happen on this next Category 3 upcoming. So we're down to 24 in the group, but the lead is still holding at 5 minutes. Made it through there alright. Daniel's still only partially into recovery, so he's Pretty tired, but the other guy's sitting on. It's the nice thing about a large group like this is it's a lot easier to get away with sitting on. Uh, all right, here we go. We want Daniel. There's going to be some people that aren't too fond of this, having none of my three riders working. But Daniel, you're going to protect Philipson. And, oops. Yes, there we go. Three K to go. So even a ninety struggling just a little bit, but this should get him up a lot better than last time. Okay, it's two and a half K. It's longer, it's steeper. Starting to start speeding up a little bit, Narvaeus. You're an 80 today on the hills. This is your day. Go get them. There we go, coming forward. Just over a K to go. Can we get through this group? 
and forward a little bit. Kind of switched back on us, but Bennett, Ciccone, DiMarquis, these are the real climbers. Oh, that's the top right there. Arveus, go, go, go. He'll be fifth over the top this time. So you can't even win this one. Uh, that's still... Ooh, actually, he drops. He drops to eighth place. Didn't get any points. Is that only... Oh, four riders collect points. <laughs> no points for you. Uh, Daniel's been dropped. He's toast. But he did his job. He helped Philipson get over without getting dropped. 21 left in the group. Uh, Narvaez will now put in the work. This next climb is a bit bigger, a bit stronger. So for now, we'll try to sit both on, though. That looks like a really bad fall. It's a shame, but he's not going any further. There's a mass crash in the back, but it doesn't look too serious. Oh, no. They just went for a little drink on the side of the road. That's the first time I've seen the water end up on over the roadway. Wow, look at the huge gaps here. Uh, there's some riders off the back. 108 riders left in the peloton, 23 now in the break. The only rider lost this time around. We had 25 originally. One was lost on the previous climb. Last time it was Gregory Daniel. Kind of shows how weak we are compared to others, but here we go. Three and a half K to go. Narvaez, it's time. You are going to lead out Philipson. And then Philipson, it's two and a half K. Looks like we're going to be able to cruise to it. I don't think anybody's going to challenge us. But then once we've gotten Philipson through, we can actually use him to lead Narvaez out. Take turns, right? Yep, no challenge. There you go, Philipson. Full points, 16 on the day. 36 point lead now. At the end of the stage, though, that'll be a different story. So, Philipson, use your gel. Too strong, buddy. Too strong. Narvaez, use your gel. Okay, Philipson, give him a little more. Give him a little more. And Narvaez, it's 2k to go. Okay, Philipson, go ahead and sit on. Now it kicks in a little late. <laughs> Come on, Narvaez. I already let you go from Philipson a while ago. Way too many guys going too early. Still 1k to go to the top. See, even Narvaez is just barely hanging in there. We need to sit on now. Yep, and we're toast. Seven off the front. 10 in chase. Philipson and his group behind that. And I figured this was too much climb even for Narvaez, and it is. Very steep. 3k, 12.8% average gradient. And that's with a couple flat sections on it. All right, so Narvaez, what I want you to do, you're gonna sit up. I want you to ride with Philipson. Might as well. Philipson in a group of five, two minutes behind. Never mind. Auto, auto. Everybody goes auto, and we're gonna speed things up and cruise to the end of the stage. Alright, there's Narvaez up the road a little bit from Philipson. Teammates here. We're going to get all the way to the front though. Might as well. Penultimate climb. Breakaway riders. No, that's the Peloton now. We've already been left behind from the Peloton. Peloton got around us here. Okay, there's Bernal. We'll go ahead and ride with him. 21 left in the Peloton. 
they're just about to reach the top of the penultimate climb, 20k to go for them. Carapaz could be another one to keep an eye on. Kwiatkowski working at the front, Bilbao, Janiez, Schultz, Dombrowski, Betancourt, Carthy, Ciccone, Di Marquis, and Bennett, Izagira, Hagita, Zach. That's a lot of riders still at the front. And it's Pierre Latour leading the race right now. The finish line is getting close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. Peloton's still a ways behind. They might not catch all those guys, uh, especially with the likes of Latour at the front. Latour could very well win this stage. There's Bernal again. We'll ride with him. They have 15k left to go. As we go forward, let's speed things up until we start the climb. As they go through the valley a little bit. Bounce back and forth. Okay, there you go. Through the town, at the base of the climb. They're going to head onto the road and up, up, up they go. Let's see if the guys that are a little further up the road already. That's a terrible view. There we go. Now it's going to focus. So Latour at the front. Whew, skinny and steep as they turn onto here. Martin Schultz has caught him and going on by. So Dan Martin not looking so good. Schultz hanging in there for just a 75. Ciccone, Bennett, Thacker, this whole group still together. Those guys have a good chance of catching up. Uh, some of them staying, but here are the leaders having already caught that group just about. Okay, further up the mountain, further up the mountain, Schultz has been caught, and now Latour riding solo at the front of this race. He's got 7k to go. That's a long ways to go solo. Ciccone, Schultz, the only ones in tow, and then there's the, the peloton all together you can see a whole group of guys stuck around the outside the middle group riding their way through them most of that's the peloton passing the remnants of the break but it's Dabrowski at the front working hard for EF education first they've caught up to Schultz so just Ciccone and Latour left Latour's got a little bit of a lead minute 13 Ciccone has been caught Dabrowski still working hard at the front. It's Bernal right behind him. Ooh. Bernal for Ineos in prime position here. It's a minute gap to Latour at 6K to go. That could come crumbling down real quick. So far, Dabrowski doing the work. Landa is there. Fulsang, there he is, the race leader. No, not that's third place. It is uh, Carapaz. EF Education first. No, AG2R, that's just the pink leader's jersey here at the Jero that he is wearing. The EF Riders, Uran, Carthy. So that's who Dombrowski's working for. Down to just 14 now, chasing one. And we see an attack. There is an attack at the front. It's Bernal. Bernal. He catches Latour in just seconds. And off he goes. So with about 5k to go, Egon Bernal has gone on the attack, has taken the race lead, and has opened a 27 second, now 31 second gap over the chasing peloton, which is down to 13 riders, joined by Latour and somebody off the back. Carapaz now chasing. He leaves to Dombrowski behind. Now Landa chasing Carapaz and Bernal at the front. It's 33 seconds. And then Carapaz has opened a 14 second gap. Now Landa opening a gap behind him. Full song. Yates, Formolo chasing huge gap behind to Bardet. Back at the front. There's Landa. Here's Carapaz, 2.2. Let's bring it on down as we go through these tunnels. So Carapaz. There's Bernal still at the front. He's got 26 seconds. Carapaz opening a gap behind him. Now 35 seconds. He's closing Bernal down as they get close to the end. Landa well behind, but also well ahead of his chase group, which is now led by Yates. Full song. Formolo riding together. Six riders together behind them. But here is Egon Bernal. Less than 1K to go to the top of the climb. Going for the... Oh, 
obstacles in the way. Drives me nuts. Modders, stop messing with the Grand Tours. Bernal will claim the stage victory. Meanwhile, Narvaez is 12 minutes behind. Carapaz, 38, 39 seconds behind. Landa, well over a minute behind Carapaz. It's going to be two minutes down overall, just about. Moss, Enrique Moss has come up from nowhere, and so has Uran. There's Yates, Fulsong, and Formolo. Those two got around all three of them and left them behind. Here is Simon Yates coming in ninth. Quintana, Bardet, Dombrowski. What a ride by him. Malama, 13th. There's Latour, last rider of the break, finishing 14th. Sivakov. Here is Hugh Carthy. Got a free ride up most of the way. Didn't do the work. Sosa didn't do the work. He comes in 17th. Solaire, Zacharin. Here's Bennett from the breakaway and Ciccone from the breakaway. Here's Higita being passed by Reichenbach. We're already outside of the top 20. Izagira, Martinez, Jenias, Kwiatkowski, Demarki, Schultz. And let's speed on through the rest of the way. And we joined Narvaez coming through the tunnel. Final 100 meters now. There's Dianigi, 68th. Felci, 78th. Philipson, 93rd. Booms, 101st. Daniel, 119th. Down to Godry and Miguel Bryan now. Still within the time cut. Bryan's not here yet, though. There you go. He comes across. Nobody out on time. At least not for us. Can't see anything through there. Yeah, you can see around the corner here. Time cut approaching. And there it is. Over the time cut. These guys are out of the race. Looks like just a couple riders. One more coming. It's about three riders out on time. Wait, is there still one more? Oh no. <laughs> so Bernal, solo victory. He's going to pick up massive points on that one. And what we gained in the intermediates, he took right back as Bernal is going to get full points by winning the stage. Our closest rider, Narvaez, 19 minutes behind. We even had a five minute head start. Carapaz still in the race lead. Bernal just 14 seconds behind now. Four and a half minutes back to full song. Landa, it's a two horse race for the GC. But in the sprint competition, the 20 point lead is now a 21 point lead. 15 points available at the end of the stage. Bernal picks up all 15. Two. Sprint points along the way. Philipson gets max points there. That's 16. So we stretch the lead by just a single point. Carapaz still in range. Full song still in range. Simon Yates probably out of range now. Everybody else is definitely out of range, including every single sprinter. Viviani in eighth with 75. Won't touch us by the end of this race. Bernal and Carapaz, though, and Full song. Still a threat, Bernal especially. In that KOM, you can see Narvaez, ninth place, 70 points behind Bernal. Can't touch him with a 10 foot pole. Bernal is becoming the Grinch. He's trying to steal our Christmas. Will he be nice in the end and give it back? Tour de Lien, Evenepoel, and McNulty both in a strong position on this one. Let's go ahead and quick sim this while I've got you with me. Like I said, top five is the objective, but it's only one star. I'm not taking the time. We've got enough on our plate. And both McNulty and Evenepoel in the top four at the end of the stage will be top full in the overall. Specifically, they end up second and third to Kamnev, so there you go.
to a 79 mountain. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. We complete the objective anyway. So stage 15 now you can see a lot of climbs, but the two sprint points are after just the first categorized climb of the day. It's a lot of uphill though to that 46 kilometer mark. A good 20, 25 of it is uphill, but not extreme. So there's a good chance that Philipson can get through that first sequence, recover on the descent, and then go claim all 16 points. And here, for one thing, there's more points available at the end, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's more of a sprint, less of a, a hefty climb, meaning Bernal is more likely to finish just in the pack instead of at the front. And if that's the case, we can actually gain points today, but Bernal will need to be third or lower on the stage for us to not lose points as long as we can grab the 16 here. So for this stage, I got two riders into the break, and it started as really small, actually. There was just three riders, and Philipson was one of those three. And then, just as it looked like it was going to be a three-man break, finally the field was just like, oh, okay, here you go. And we ended up with a massive group, 20 riders, and a huge break at that. It's 11 and a half minute gap over the peloton right now. There's a very good chance that we will see the stage victory coming from this group. Now, Philipson, it's time. We're just two and a half K away from the first sprint point. We need to go claim eight points. Shouldn't have any contest here, but we need to make sure that we get up there. A little uphill for this actually. So Dianigi working, pulling, pulling, 1k to go, Philipson, 800 meters, go over the top, as soon as we go over the top, he'll go forward, and Dianigi wants you to follow. Oi! I hit pause, but I accidentally sped up. I tried to pause. Uh, I think I only got seven. I think I only got seven there. No, I think I, maybe I got eight. Oh, he got over first. Okay. <laughs> he got over first. That's good. That's good. Uh, but what I need to do now is <laughs> we need to recover and rest. Right? Right. Okay. Uh, and hopefully he can. Dianigi, help him out here. Uh, we've already been dropped once, actually, and that was on the climb just before the top. Uh, Dianigi pulled us back on the descent because I wisely had them riding together. Philipson, not recovering as of yet, and there's a lot of uphill coming, so we'll see if Dianigi can get him back. Otherwise, we're going to miss out on those other eight points. Come on, you're right there. Right there. Yes, okay, we're starting to get a little bit of yellow bar. That's important here. That's what it's going to take. There goes that yellow bar again, though. Come on, come on. Now it's coming back. 12k to go to the next one. We're done as soon as that happens. And we'll, we'll move on to the next stage. Uh, nine and a half minute gap. I'll set these guys to auto and, and kind of race their way or just see how long they can hang in. But I have a feeling they'll both get dropped on this up climbing, upcoming climb. All right, here we go. 4k to go. 3k. It's uphill again, but we're moving forward right now, even without my effort. That's really good. Okay, that's that's our stage right here. Let's make it happen. Follow. Head out. I'd use your gel, but it's not going to be ready in 1.8k, so just get us out front here. There you go.
All right, we got it. 16 points, and we have a 35-point lead currently. There are 25 points available at the end of this stage. I really hope this breakaway can hang on with or without us. If it's 18 riders, it's 18 riders. If it's 19 riders, it's 19 riders. And look how quickly we got dropped. Uh, just make sure Philipson gets home without uh, getting eliminated, will you? I would love it if those 17 riders hang on, though. Peloton already starting to... Uh, split up. Sorry. Just had a text. One of the kids in the daycare downstairs. Uh, my wife just texted me that he just threw up. He's been sick. Poor kid. All right, we get over the top. Uh, we're still a minute and a half clear of a very small peloton, just 24 riders. That was unexpected. I think a lot of it will come back together, though, before the next climb. But it's definitely a smaller group than what I expected. Uh, Wisniewski not working. We're not working, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but not having water, I'm definitely not okay with that. So you need to take care of that. There you go. And... Let's just set these guys to auto. Dinigi's going to ride a little bit here. Uh, you know what? We're only 15 seconds ahead of these guys. Never mind auto. Go right back to protecting them. Let those guys catch us. Still a good amount of riders off the front. 39 in the peloton. They're going to leave us behind on this climb. No doubt about that, but at least we can sit on and recover for a little bit. We'll be well within the time cut. You can see there's huge gaps behind us. And we'll turn our focus now to breakaway. Sivakov working, Kwiatkowski working. It's Bernal we need to keep our eye on, so that's who we'll ride with the rest of the way. And here we go. Penultimate categorized climb of the day, though the finish is on a bit of an uphill, but it's certainly not a major uphill. I would love to see the breakaway stay away to claim the points so Bernal does not get them for a change. Phillips and Dianigi both getting a bit tired. Still, oh, never mind, not in the group. They've been dropped. They're group A2. Peloton, 22 riders. Bigger the peloton, the better. 21. Pulling in another breakaway rider. There's still a lot of riders out in front of them. It's a with pretty big gaps. You can see E6 is five minutes away from the peloton. They are not going to catch all of them, so this is really good for us. Bernal, working on the front. What? Does he want the points? There we go. Last categorized climb of the day. More riders coming back at us. They're, they're pulling time back pretty quickly on those that are toast. But the front riders are staying away. There's an attack in the peloton. Bernal's going to have to respond, and he is not responding so far. That's three riders getting away. We're trying to attack now. This time Bernal responding. There's the top of the climb. Just five riders left in this group. But again, hopefully too far back to collect much for points. And they're going to make contact again. We've got a group of eight. That's your front group. Both of the Yates brothers are there. Group behind has caught them. That's 15. And still riders ahead. How many? I'm not sure. But Dan Martin takes the win. Bill Bow. Latour just third. Bookman. Pazzavivo. Rowan Dennis. George Bennett. Jan Izagira. Zacharin. And there goes most of the points. That's good. That's your top nine. There's still at least three away from these guys. Bernal not going strong today. He's looking pretty weak. Or will he attack right now and 
take it 700 meters. Carapaz, Bardet, here comes Bernal. Will Bernal go over the top first? He does, doesn't matter. Levin in this group for 13th. So yes, it's a great day in the points for Philipson. These guys were almost six minutes behind Dan Martin. Meanwhile, let's speed things up. Felchi, next. Well, first for us to cross the line today. He is from the break. No, he is not. Dianigi is with Philipson, still protecting him. Good job, buddy. Philipson crossed the line 69th, just behind Dianigi. Felchi got past them. Narvaez, 106th. Daniel, time cuts. Uh, Brian is 43 minutes behind, so he's good. Looks like everybody's going to make it in under the time cut today. That was the last rider inside of an hour. Not sure why that stage resulted in such a large time cut, but okay. We'll take it. Carapaz, Bernal, Landa, Fulsong, Formolo, same order. And now it's 32 points that Philipson has over Bernal. Bernal, did he get any points at the end of the stage? He might have pulled in a few. He did. He got three points. But that's that's a huge gain for us. What? Why 14? Why only 14? What's with the yellow thingy? Why did you take two points away from me? It was 16 that we got. But we have a yellow thing with... Four Were they tied? Did they tie? Is that what it was? Because it's Dianigi who also has yellow. I think they literally tied. It, it, it has to be. That's got to be what it is, because he's two points shy. If, if we go back... Uh can't but let's see it's eight points at the front and it's how many points for second is it four you split the points right add it together that's 12 split it in half that's six you'd lose two points i i bet you they went over at the exact same time dianigi and philipson remember how close that was the first one hmm well, that sucks. We still stretch the lead, though. 32 points. But apparently I cost myself two points. Now, stage 16, I believe, is the time trial. It is. So I'll bypass stage 16. We'll be on to 17. We have five stages to go. We're going to do one more episode to get through the rest of the Giro. And we're now starting to look pretty good. 32 points ahead and 17 we definitely can claim eight points i don't know about 16 we'll see we'll be in the breaks depends on whether we can get philipson over these two climbs we'll have some support for him for sure again and even this climb he might not be able to get into the break for the start of that one 18 though easily will get 16 points before then losing 15 at the top so that's not bad and they won't collect points here. So I think we're getting closer. This stage, though, pff, yeah. Bernal's going to get 15 points. I don't think we're going to get any, so I will quick sim stage 19. Stage 20, though, if we need points, if we're less than 15 ahead, then we can go get them. But I think it's looking pretty good now. I like our chances. I definitely like our chances. Let's say he gets each of these. That's 15. That's 30, 45 points. He won't take any points here. He shouldn't get... Oh, he could get points here. Oh, he could get points. How is he on the time trial? Uh, pretty good, not great. 
but he'll get some points. So it's going to take about 50 points. Well, the last stage is a sprint. So we're actually getting pretty close with the lead we have now from having enough. But not quite yet. Not quite yet. We still have a little more work to do. At least one more, maybe two more breakaways will give us the points we need to win the points classification. And then, of course, we'll go for the final stage, presumably in Rome, wherever that is. It might not be. It might be somewhere else, Milan, whatever. But that is going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Still in third. Bye for now.